It's April! Happy April everybody. My name is Shelby and welcome back to my channel. Um, what does April really mean? If you're a kid, April is kind of like October. You know that as long as you work hard enough at the end of the month, you're gonna have some candy. Mm -hmm. If you're a kid, you're probably going to sleep at night formulating a plan for your 2022 Easter egg hunt strategy. But you are not getting beat again this year. You are gonna get all those eggs. You're gonna have enough candy to last you until your next stockpile, which will be Halloween. If you're an adult, you're thinking, I need to do my taxes. You spend your whole childhood thinking that adulthood is gonna be great. I can't wait to be an adult because then I have freedom, I have independence, I can do whatever I want. It's gonna be awesome. And then you realize that's not how it works. So what April means for adults is that you get reminded of everything that you could have made. Here's your total for the whole year. This is what you could have had. You don't. This is what you involuntarily donated that the government stole from you all throughout the year. What you could have had looks nice. What you do have looks sad. Oh, that number looks great. That number looks like I'll be eating Walmart brand everything for my entire existence. Okay, if you're watching this and you're a kid, really value those times. <laughs> because you think, I'm just a kid and life is a night. No, mm -mm, it's not. If you're a business owner, as it turns out, it gets much worse. Because when you're working for someone else, it's their responsibility to figure out the numbers. And they tell you everything that you paid and you owed and you got and you should have gotten and all that stuff that you need to know to file your taxes. Huh. Except if you're a business owner, you don't get that. You have to figure that out. As an adult business owner, you find yourself sitting here with 17 different spreadsheets sitting in front of you and a headache. You look like this. Because you can't just, you just can't, you look like you crawled out of a dungeon because you kind of wish you had so that you can have somewhere to go back to where no one can find you. And you don't have to do any of this. If you live in a dungeon, and ain't nobody looking for you in a dungeon to file your taxes. I need an inhaler. Start a business, they said. It would be fun, they said. I would love to go to an Easter egg hunt right now. <sighs> and it's a whole nother thing when you have products that are cherishable. Perishable. Perishable. <laughs> oh no. I can't even think. What products aren't cherishable? You put your heart and soul into that stuff. So I'm going to spend the day learning, teaching myself how to be an accountant, learning everything that I need to report to the government that I've done this year, and maybe crying a little bit. Just a little bit. Don't like this. Okay. But I gotta do it because I'm an adult and I'm also a business owner and this is just something that I have to do for my entire life of my business which is hopefully very very long and that's exactly what I'm going for and if I don't learn how to do this I am fucked. I'm still working on taxes but we have to be quiet. Sometimes when you're in a pit bull, there are days where they just need to be glued to your side all day long and <laughs> today just happens to be one of those days. But it worked out really well since I have pretty much only computer work to do today, so. news away and I'll uh, 
keep working on my taxes. You gotta love dogs, right? I mean... You just gotta love dogs. <laughs> they make this uh, whole tax season thing just a little bit better. Okay, I have gone on a run, vented out some pent up frustration. When you can't figure things out, sometimes it just gets in your head and you're like, oh my gosh, I am so bad at this. For me, the solution is to just run as fast as I possibly can for as long as I possibly can and then feel better. <laughs> now, it's smoothie time. I'm having a smoothie that I've never made before and it's going to have pumpkin. Now I know what you're thinking. That is the greenest pumpkin smoothie I've ever seen in my entire life and you're not wrong. However, I promise there is pumpkin in here and there's about three uh, pounds worth of pumpkin pie seasoning and allspice and even a little bit of apple pie seasoning. The reason that it's so green is because I always put half of an avocado in my smoothies and that really takes over the color. It's also super green because there's spinach in here as well. But you can see it looks a little brown. Now one thing I always do after I make the smoothie or at least I've started doing it afterwards is adding about a probably half a tablespoon of chia seeds. I just add them on top and then stir them in. I don't really like adding them while I'm pureeing everything because in my head, this is not proven by science, in my head they're getting chopped up and turning weird. Is that actually happening? Probably not. There you have it. Mm-hmm. Mmm, mm, that tastes good. I absolutely want it to be Thanksgiving now. Um, it hasn't even warmed up here yet and I'm already like, November, let's go. <laughs> this is so good. I did probably about three tablespoons of pumpkin and then I just put in as much pumpkin seasoning, allspice, and a little bit of apple pie seasoning all together with stevia. And then I would kind of taste as I went and see how it was going. I put a ton of allspice in there especially, but with, with spices like that, it's nice because they don't have any sugar. So you can kind of really go as ham as you want to. And I mean, Turned out amazing. I also like to add tons of ice to my smoothies just because it makes it thicker, makes it so that I have more of it and it takes longer for me to drink it. And then, you know, once I'm finally finished with it, I feel really full, really satisfied and don't need to like snack or do anything like that. So also, <laughs> don't mind my nails. Um, sometimes when I get stressed or frustrated or both, I do this thing where I just sit here and I, I just pick them all off. It's why I don't typically paint my nails because they look like this afterwards. Um, I will be taking these off, so don't worry. <laughs> I know these nails are bad. I know. I've been sitting here just ripping them off all day long. I know that they are not good. I'm going to drink this up. It is delicious. I absolutely recommend avocado, spinach, pumpkin, all of the Thanksgiving spices that you can muster up. A little bit of stevia, almond milk, and I put some half and half in here too to make it nice and creamy. Tons of ice, stir that up, and chia seeds. You got that? And then you will have the best smoothie of 
the week so far. I'm going to go finish this. Well, actually, I'm going to go start this. Then I am going to continue working on crunching business numbers and being an accountant. So I hope y'all have had a wonderful, wonderful day. I hope that if you are working on your business numbers that it's going smoothly. I know this time for us can be difficult and stressful and frustrating, but just know it'll be over soon. Go on a run, go vent some frustration. And before you know it, it'll be May, we'll be done with this and we can breathe for another year. <laughs> Please like and subscribe, it really helps me grow. And if at this moment in time, you're currently watching YouTube in order to eh, maybe not do your taxes, then continue on because there's nothing wrong with that. Watch one of these videos and uh, you do your taxes tomorrow or like the next day or like when's the last day to do them? You can do them then, right? Right, right, right. <laughs> I will see y'all next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and drink up. Bye.